This video was made possible by you. If you want to save time and support what I do, check the link in the description that will take you to my store where you can purchase the source file for what we're creating in this video, as well as other tutorials on my channel. Thank you for your support and let's get back to the video. Welcome back to designing a website in Figma. In this video, we're going to take a look at the About Us page and we're going to come up with a wireframe, a structure, an overall idea and a creative concept of this page. We're then going to use this in the upcoming episodes to design the final About Us page. So let's get into it. Here I have the About Us page and I'm just going to create another frame underneath by using the F tool and I'm going to rename this to About Us Wireframe, right? And the About Us page is usually where companies share who they are, where they introduce themselves as a company, not from the point of view of a potential customer, but from the point of view of presenting to somebody who is interested in the background, not what the company offers, but the backstory the identity of the company as it is and as it's been evolving. So what you're going to find there on these pages is usually some kind of a company history, right? You're definitely going to find something like company history. You will then also usually on these pages, you can find something like a company mission and vision. Right, so basically what the company stands for, what they are striving to achieve, maybe something about ESG, so environmental, social governance. This is usually where companies present how they're handling their environmental impact or their social impact. It is also where you can find maybe some kind of a timeline, right? The timeline of the company from when it was founded, maybe even something about the leadership team or like who founded this company, who's the who were the people at the beginning of this. This page may or may not have something about the company culture. So like maybe company culture. But usually these are on separate pages, careers or like company culture pages. So this is just maybe let me just make it translucent. Maybe if the company was mentioned in the news, right? So mentions in the news, right, mentions in the news. That's, I think that's about it I can think of at this moment. So let's just come up with a very simple wireframe, all right? I think we could, let me just borrow this from the brand assets wireframe, right? Let me just borrow this, it's gonna be about us, something about the company. And again, we could have an image but what I'm thinking is that we could get, we could get a section where there would be like a, a timeline, right? Timeline, it could be something like a timeline. Maybe it would be H2. This could, this could be like how it all started. And then let's say the company founded in 2015. And then we would get some kind of a timeline. We could get like a line in the middle and then let's just do could get something like for each year or where there was a some kind of a remarkable something something important happened in the history of the company we could get like an item on the timeline right so something like this then we would get like 2017 and by the way this is something i'm mentioning in my course but for a layout like this the new Figma grid, auto layout grid feature is ideal for this, right? So the new grid feature is going to be great when assembling this specific, this specific layout. It could be maybe like this. So you have overlapping rows and columns, just overlapping rows, sorry. And the auto layout grid is really good for something like that. Okay. All right. So this is something that we could do and at the end we could get like something like present day this could lead all the way to here right so it could be basically like a timeline right present day and there would simply be something i'm not sure yet what exactly but like maybe something about what's happening with the company these days all right to 
close this his history segment. Maybe at the beginning we could I think add some like key people. So why don't I just copy some avatars? Let me copy these avatars, command X, right? So again, since I have all of this already prepared in my design system, it's very fast when sketching up stuff to just start using these components very quickly. We can then also, of course, reuse these components. So just having a design system in place, you can see how it speeds up the work on all the all the other on all the pages essentially so yeah with each page if you have a good design system in place each new page is always faster and faster to design so that's definitely why you need a design system okay let me maybe do this instead present day all right so let me just remove this okay yeah, then there could be some kind of huge numbers, right? And we're talking like huge numbers. So one, two, three, 32 and 1000 plus something, right? These are some kind of impressive numbers that the company can share. Yeah, it's just something that you see very often. Let me actually copy the, the layout guide from here. Okay, maybe on the other hand, this could be actually it could be actually just 50% H1. Okay, all right. Maybe it could be arranged like this. I am, guys, I'm just brainstorming here, right? So this might definitely change. I'm not, of course, explaining all the mechanics of what I'm doing right now, because uh, it's basically just like sketching out something, right? So you have a history that goes from how it all started to basically the present day where the company is flexing all their numbers, all their achievements. And then we could get something like another panel for a mission and a vision. So let's do that. Mission, vision. This could have a different headline, something like what we stand for or something. I'm just keeping this very generic. And what else is there? I think we could again reuse these avatars and this could be like the leadership team or something, right? These could be different people from those at the beginning, like who knows, right? Just that it would maybe be good to add some people here again to tick off the leadership section. Maybe again, you would get a text, like a paragraph or two for each person. And yeah, another section could be company, right? Company in the news. And that would be very simple. We would probably just get, we would just borrow these elements, right? So let me just borrow this. I'm just going to copy this over here. Maybe we won't get like eight of those, but just four. And uh, yeah, we can definitely reuse the article component that we have already created and that is stored here. Or we can create a new, a new feature card, a new component for this, essentially. Let me actually remove this. I think this is not going to need a background. This could be like arranged in a way where we could get like like bubbles of people, right? We could get more of these. They don't have to be arranged like that. So it could be like how it all started and a very small team. This is what I'm thinking here, right? Let me know, by the way, in the comments, what you think about these ideas. Do you think these make sense? Is this something on the About Us pages? Usually that's what I usually see on About Us pages. I usually see stuff like that, all right? And after mention mentions in the news, I think that for this purpose, I'm not sure what I would put in ESG because that's a very highly specific. So I think I'm just gonna keep company mission and vision. Then we go straight to leadership. And then maybe instead of the company culture, you know what we, we could do? We could do a section that's join us, right? Join our company. We look at how awesome we are. Now we can join our company and we can do two call to actions here. 
we could do let me actually duplicate the button or better yet let me go to assets and drop a button here and then let's do one that is important and one that is not as important so let's go for no background so this one could be like more about the culture more about the culture and then this one could say open positions right so we would get we would give the user if there's like a potential candidate a potential employee we could give the user two options we could direct them to find out more about the culture or go straight to open positions which actually means that we're going to need another page let me make a note here or actually let me just duplicate this and we could call this career page all right so career page career and let's remove this this is not connected to anything yet this is just me making a note that in the future we might also need a career page right then also finally after the join us a call to action we would get uh, the footer to close it all off so let's review what we have so far we got an about us page headline image something very that we get very frequently then we get the company history how it all started individual items this could be we could really have some fun with designing this element this could be built using the grid then present day what the company is doing now what it achieved what they stand for the leadership team company in the news and then join us i think this is pretty pretty comprehensive let me know guys what you think in the comments if this structure makes sense do you feel like anything's missing does this make sense i personally think this is pretty comprehensive there are pages plenty of pages of very big companies that share way less information about themselves so this would be typical for a tech startup right very typical for a tech startup or a scale up because it's like a very modern layout not very traditional not very corporate to be honest but actually yes it could be it could be used even for a corporation it's it's very flexible all right so yeah Thanks for tuning in guys i hope you found this video useful if you did definitely go and check out the link in the description where you can download the source file for all of this and also go and check out the playlist where all the other episodes are and you can see how we built all of this step by step it's all out there for you to see and explore how to do all of this right thank you for your support guys hope you found this useful thanks for tuning in and I will see you in the next one.